hello guys so today we are going to learn about how to make an office adding using the react application so and today we are going to learn about it so let's begin okay so first of all we are going to open the portal and we are going to open into our react application okay so now let's create a new react add-in so the first command which we will be using is for installing the my office add-in and the second command we will be using after this will be okay so it is saying that it is already installed in my system so now i am creating a new react application Okay, so now it will take some time to complete. So let it execute. okay so let's move into our new add-in which is created so let's first out first list out all the directories so the add-in which we have created is hello world add-in so let's open our new application new react word add-in application into the visual studio code Okay, so our application is open here. Now let's visit the packet.json and see what are the scripts which we can start. So the two two most important scripts are uh, one is the development server. The dev server script is important to start the development server, and another script which is important is to start our new react add-in inside the word desktop application okay so this word desktop application is pointing towards the manifesto.xml so our manifesto.xml is present inside the home inside the root or the home folder or the root folder of the application so after opening our manifest.xml it is saying that uh, the most important tag is uh, yeah source location is the most important tag and the source application is telling us that you need to look for the look for the website here on the local host 3000 and our main Ruby main react application will be running at the local host 3000 and its task win page will be open inside the add-in okay so this is the source location is the most important tab for and um, at this location it will be searching for the add-in content and in the background our website will be running and these are the icons which will be rendered in our add-in and those are mentioned here Okay, so let's start our add-in. Let's 
visit our terminal again then let's start npm run dev server so it will start the development server and let's split the tab and let's move into our root directory of the application and let's open that application npm run start okay so what start will do so the start is going to start is going to open our application inside the office inside the office of reading the manifest document okay so our development server is getting started and it is getting started at the port 3000 and by default it is taking the https mode so let's visit our application and see These are the sets folder. These are the known modules. Um, we have HTTPS mode enabled, and where it is written. And one thing, which is important, that uh, the manifest XML should have all the the all the urls which are listed should be https enabled okay so all the urls all the domains which are present here should be https not http okay it is having http so it is coming as default and whatever url you are going to mention is should be an https but this is coming it as an http so that is coming default so let's leave it as it is Okay, let's move to our terminal. Our development server is started, and now let's start the desktop application, the office editor. Okay, it's taking some time. So let, so we will let it execute. Now it has started the word application. And it has opened the word and set that debug mode with view. So, yeah, this is our React application which is open right side. And if we click insert text, insert text, so this some text will be printed here. And if we want to debug the React application, we can further inspect that thing and we can we can keep it somewhere. And we can further debug the HTML also. Okay, so this is all for this is it for today. Thank you.